Hi there, Liz from ReviewHarbor.net here and today I'm going to show you system data recovery to recover documents, media, archives and pretty much any files. Now I'm trying to recover some media files here. Um, when you click on settings you get a bunch of formats for video, audio, everything. You can uncheck them to unselect them and select whatever whatever you need. Uh, the thing is everything is selected by default and you definitely don't need to recover all these formats so just select whatever you want. Actually it's it takes quite a lot of time to do it this way so probably what I'm going to do I, I want to recover pictures JPG pictures. I'm going to unselect all and just select the formats I want to recover. So I'll select GIF, JPG and uh, PNG and I think that's enough because you know these are the most common image formats. Although like I said you can recover pretty much anything. Right, start the scan. Um, this is going to to take a while because I can see that it says 27 minutes so I'm going to pause my video soon to, just to give you the idea of the scan. Now what I didn't like was that um, you can't select any folders or specific locations for file recovery so you have to scan your whole disk and that takes a while. Also I didn't find any settings for specifying file size. Okay, I could specify the format but not the file size. So my guess is that it's going to recover pretty much all images like browser cache images and all that stuff. And you don't want that. Right, the scan is finished. Um, it took about 40 minutes. I paused the video and here are my recovered pictures. As you can see some of them look only partially recovered, which is normal for any file recovery program. And some of them are like headers and, like I said, browser cache images. And we could have avoided that because, as you can see, some of them are really small files. And those are the browser files. And you can sort them by size and you'll see your pictures that you might want to recover. Now there is a preview feature, so that's that's a picture that I deleted a while ago. Here is a picture that's only partially recovered. Here is another partially recovered one. But overall it's not too bad, it's a decent job, it's done a decent job. Like I said, the only thing is that uh, I couldn't specify the minimum and maximum size for recovery. Again, I don't see options to select all or unselect all, although I can sort by size. Now uh, that's a partially recovered digital painting. Now I would like to see a select unselect all option because right now it's going to recover everything. Let's see. I'm going to put them the recovered files on my desktop. And where is it? Because I couldn't be bothered to uncheck all the checkboxes. Right, recovery is pretty quick compared to scanning, which took a long while. There we go. And you can click OK, you can show in Finder. Now let's see them in Finder. System created folders recovered files and here are all the files. Here they are, even the partially recovered one because ones because I couldn't be bothered. Oh yeah, that's that's done a good job. Now let's select a different view to get a better idea. Let me select this. Okay. So, yeah, well, these are not my files, they're browser cache files. Definitely never downloaded these, and these are mine, so. 
Okay, so System Dot Recovery is a decent Mac recovery app, although it's lacking some options that I would have liked to see.